transaction SMICM to SMICM is for monitoring the ICM transactions. Okay, log into SMICM. Uh, here, if you want to do a restart of ICM alone, you can do. That means only the Internet Communication Manager service will be restarted. How you do that? You go to administration, go to administration, go to ICM. Yeah, here you can select a hard shutdown, hard shutdown, and then you can say global. So then it, it will restart all the ICM services on all the servers. Currently, for our, in our case, it's only one server, so not a problem. You can you can see the select either of them, local or global. Select global. Yeah, click on global. So it will ask, it will pop up saying, "Are you sure you want to restart all the ICM process?" I'd say yes. Click on yes. Then, if you just do a refresh, there's a refresh icon here, right? In the left, yeah, yeah, left, yeah, yeah, that that one. Refresh. So it says operation successfully executed. That means the ICM has already been restarted now. Okay, so all these threads are available now for ICM. ICM, these are the threads which actually facilitates the web logons. So for ICM, it's all web logons. If you click on this icon, it goes to the services. Okay, so these icons will show the services. Uh, what are the services which we have activated? HTTP, HTTPS, SMTP. So HTTP with the web URL. If you if someone wants to invoke, they will log into HTTP port protocol with the port 8000 and the processing time and the key per lifetime are five minutes. And for HTTPS, it's 44300. What is the main difference between HTTP and HTTPS? HTTP is a is a normal. Yeah, HTTPS is a secured protocol. And when the user machine uh, user machine tries to access the server, it will it will actually encrypt uh, the the route, encrypt the uh, the the communication between between the presentation layer and the application layer, and that's how it is secured and it is difficult to break. Okay, break by difficult to break. It, I mean hackers will have difficulties in breaking the the communication channel. So thirdly, we have SMTP protocol, which we have enabled if we want to communicate to the exchange server or a mail mail uh, server, then we can enable SMTP on any of the desired ports. Uh, and also actually, when SAP tries, whenever you try to trigger an email message from SAP application server, it will communicate to the to the mail server, and then it will go to the, the 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 target mailbox from there okay so for instance if you want to uh, you have a, you have a organization where you have a mail server where all your mail exchanges are happening with with your vendors within your internal parties with with your internal colleagues and peers and managers and customers so in that case you have to use uh, the i mean even from sap sometimes you need to send some massive messages uh, email messages that's where this 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 comes in handy so you, when you activate this smtp at this particular port the processing time and all this thing and it is when it says green tick that that means it's active okay so when you want to leverage that feature you have to go to transaction scott and you have to activate some of the features from the SMTP service. I'll show you how. So basically, you can actually create an create a node node SMTP node, uh, basically using a wizard, or you can manually also create. So the transaction is SCOT Scott. Okay, this this actually is for business communication administration, as you can see, and basically it is used for the the enablement of uh, the SMTP nodes. So, so SMTP node, I want to create using wizard, for example. So here I will click on this one. Uh, it will ask for the node name. I will say INT, something like that. And I'll say for uh, mail, mailing, mail uh, server node or something like that. Continue. And then the mail host. Here, what what will I, uh, which host should I mention? Can you tell me? No, no. I mean, no. Here it will be your mail exchange server. Any any mail exchange server in your in your network, whatever it is, mail. I I will just write some dummy dummy name now. Mail exchange server. Mail exchange 
dot uh, local something other and port by default is 25 but you but it depends sometimes it can be different as well 25000 also it depends all all depends on your company and security policies within your organization so when you continue forward with this one it will ask whether this this int node is for internet for fax for pager mostly we will create for internet faxing and pagering is nowadays not that much used uh, uh, regressively okay just we'll just say continue and then it says okay okay blah 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 just say uh, here uh, just let me go back again yeah actually i can put asterisk that means it will it will transfer the email to all email addresses it it will not restrict to any email address okay if you want to restrict to certain email address then you have to put some like for example here you have to say star dot akram dot com or something like that so that it will only deliver to those specific email address matching email address rest all it will discard okay so going forward so it says okay subscript uh, what format you want to deliver a bap list what format you want to deliver these are the default formats in which your 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 different types of reporting elements will be transferred via email so normally we keep it as default and just say continue and then it says set for the type address we will say no and then we'll just say continue and then it says maximum wait time and repeat time and blah 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 you can keep this empty or you want to keep some values then you can keep also no problem that's just just how it repeats uh, actually it will schedule a job uh, if you want to schedule a job like to send emails every 5 minutes it, it can, you can just set 300 seconds and it will send send the the, the emails every 5 minutes okay from sap, from sap to the mail exchange server so uh, that's how that's how the scott configuration is done once once you trigger now now all this configuration is done now let's do a one cycle of test so you go to sbwp sbwp is a transaction it's a business inbox okay so here you can create as create a custom message for example i say hi blah 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 test okay and i'll i'll just give some dummy address or even i can actually give the user id also here so if you see there is a um, there is a sap logon name so here sap logon name i can directly give akram07 that user id is already existing in the system when i press enter it will pull out the name which is coming from su01 okay and i say when i say send it will actually create a, it will actually create an a document an email document in your outbox so if you see it's already there hi and and how to monitor this there is one more transaction called call as sost sost so here you will see all your your send request all your email send request here uh, there is a caveat here when you click on transmitted you refresh this one uh, just a moment no entry in the queue okay what is the period when we send this uh, this one 17 okay we'll just say 18 because today we have sent this to today so when you when we just do a refresh uh, why it is not huh? 16 uh, like in uh, 16 to 17 16 to 18 the basically it has not triggered here basically it has not come here why because uh, this is obviously active the node is active isn't it ah the node is not active here if you see here the internet is is grayed out we need to activate this one so we go to the change address type and here we say where is that gone uh mail node no no just go to the change mode star and then okay that means this this needs to be activated which is already activated actually just a second ah node in use so it's already activated 
Yeah, okay, let me give some some seconds here, yeah, 300 seconds or something like that. 300 seconds and do not use TLS. Okay, that's fine. We don't want to use TLS. Uh, that should be it. Okay, what I see is it is not going to SOST. Obviously, because the, the mail configuration, the mail server, which we have given is a dummy dummy exchange server. It's not the right one. If it was the right one, it would have gone. Here, if you see, it is saying sent. You see, it says sent. But actually, uh, now, which user is this one, actually? No, I mean, which user are we logged in with? Akram07? So in your inbox, in Akram's inbox, you see that unread document. Do you see unread document? When you click on this one, you see you, you, you received one email on 17. So when you click on this one, you will open, okay, Akram test. So this was sent at this time, 2027, and this is how it is, okay? So the, this is how the SAP uh, email functionality works, sending emails. So let's complete our document. Where's the document gone? The, uh, the, the word document. Yeah, so yeah, uh, enable exchange server. This is something which we were not able to complete finally, but but you got the you got the you got the point right. This exchange server has to be activated. Then you have to create a so Scott entry for for internet mail node. Okay, this we this I had already I've already shown you and it's recorded in the session also. Okay, then then you can test email uh, test email functionality using SBWP. These are transaction codes. Okay, business workplace. It is called as SAP business workplace. Okay, business workplace. It's like inbox. Okay. And uh, that, that's it. That should be it. To, uh, one, more, one more transaction code is SOST. This is to check all transmitted or error uh, email messages. Okay, but now for, in our case, it's not showing because our, our mail exchange server is a dummy one. It's not the correct one, okay? Make sense?